Hi, I'm Caitlin Shaw, Science and Restoration Programs Manager with the Ipswich River Watershed Association. Let's take a closer look at the components of this exciting sub-watershed scale restoration project. By the close of this project in 2022, 18 barriers will have initial designs and cost estimates. Eastern brook trout populations will be assessed. Two high-priority barriers will have restored passage, and eight miles of stream and 68 acres of historic pond spawning habitat will be opened for river herring. Howlett Brook Dam, located just after the confluence of Howlett Brook with the Ipswich River, used to have fish passage. However, during the Mother's Day flood, the fishway was lost, and with it, the possibility for migratory fish to access important habitat. The Division of Marine Fisheries is working with the dam owner to develop a plan to restore the fishway at this location so that fish are once again able to traverse this dam. The Massachusetts Division of Fisheries and Wildlife conducted habitat assessments to understand the species present at different points along the project path. There were no shortage of American eels present just below the dam. Next along the project path, Potter's Brook to the north meets Howlett Brook. During our habitat assessments, biologists thought this may have been a record-setting size on a creek chub sucker. A series of 18 culverts along Potter's Brook and throughout the Howlett Brook watershed will be designed by Trout Unlimited National, who will also provide cost estimates to aid towns in the next steps towards replacing these structures. Pie Brook, as well as other areas of the watershed, have ample beaver activity, and certain areas may require work to allow for fish passage. In addition to beaver activity, cattails have become overgrown in some places. This required stream channel maintenance, which was permitted through the Topsfield Conservation Commission. At the top of Pie Brook is Hood Pond, which herring habitat assessments have identified as viable habitat for alewives. Alewives will be stocked in the pond, allowed to grow and take up nutrients, and then will head back out to the sea. The second on-the-ground component of this project is working with the town of Topsfield to upgrade the culvert at Pond Street with a more resilient structure that allows for fish and wildlife passage. Other components of this project include Sea Run Brook Trout Coalition, Herring and Brook Trout Habitat Assessments, Site Walks, and eDNA Sampling. Division of Marine Fisheries to stock Hood Pond with River Herring, education and outreach through the Greenscape School Program, multiple public presentations. This project would not be possible without the support of our project partners, 